It's one o'clock. Time for the Joy Business Report. International Monetary Fund Review Team in Ghana concludes first assessment of Ghana program after reaching staff level agreement. Meanwhile, Finance Minister Ken Oforiata optimistic Ghana will conclude deals with external creditors on debt issues by the end of the year. Also, Food and Drugs Authority warns importers to desist from importing fake goods for the festive season in December. My name is Eli Kim Aku Kungpe. Let's settle for the details now. An international monetary fund staff team which finished reviewing Ghana's program has indicated that most of the country's macroeconomic indicators are in the right direction but need to be enhanced. Led by its mission chief for Ghana, Stefan Rode, the meetings in Accra started from September 25 to October 6, 2023, addressing journalists at the joint press briefing. Mr. Rode said even though there have been some improvements, with the key indicators, more needs to be done to attain st stability. Uh, the numbers for in June uh, that are much better also than the th than the targets. The external position in general is, is stronger. The the currency has become much less volatile than what Ghana has experienced at the end of last year, where you know it was very a very very challenging situation. So clearly there is a there is a turnaround. There is a, an improvement, and signs of uh, macroeconomic stability are now emerging. Again, this is not the end of the road. I mean, inflation has 40 percent. We want to see everyone uh, everyone in this room wants to see much lower but suddenly you know we're coming from a fifth position where inflation was at 54 percent at the end of last year the, the traveling uh, direction is suddenly the, the right one and things are improving on his part finance minister ken Furiata indicated that he's optimistic of reaching a deal with external creditors before end of year You've seen us move from um, July 2022 to where we are, um, which a good number of people uh, were betting that it will be impossible to get to where we are today. And we are here. And I think that's a testament um, to government's commitment to make it happen. Uh, we did get the financing assurances. I had to go to China, etc. Whatever is required to do, we will do. Uh, I'm confident um, that um, um, the OCC will come through uh, in time for for the board, the executive board approval in November. Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, said the downward trend of inflation is critical condition that shows economic recovery. I think the important thing to note is that we're happy with the direction of inflation and we are looking at staying on that path and depending on the, you know, the developments, we'll take the appropriate decision. I mean, if it happens that inflation falls much faster, right? If it falls much faster than expected, then you could obviously expect that the monetary policy rate could go down. On the other hand, if it doesn't, it could also go up. So it's very, you know, dependent on, on, on the developments in the data. Importers and exporters have been asked to desist from the importation of fig goods for Christmas, according to the Chief Executive Officer of the Food and Drugs Authority, Dillis Dakung. Her authority will go after these exporters and importers who are engaged in such deals. She spoke to Joy Business at the GIZ closing ceremony of hands-on assessors training. Um, as Christmas is coming, we would like consumers to be aware of this. Watch out for the expiry dates on the label. Watch out and make sure that there's English on the label. Be aware of what you are buying. Don't buy more than you can actually consume. Um, we will also be working, and we started already. We, we are cautioning importers. We are cautioning wholesalers. Uh, we are cautioning them to ensure that they do not push products to market women. They do not push products that they know are expiring to people who they know will then push them off to consumers. We will do what we've done every year. We will go out to warehouses and make sure that they will not push products out. Dillis Dako is the Chief Executive Officer for the Food and Drugs Authority. The Ghana Revenue Authority has stated its intention to roll out a digital platform to ensure compliance. Speaking to Joy Business Assistant Commissioner and Special Technical Advisor to the Commissioner General, Dominic Nab, stated an online portal will be introduced soon to enhance monitoring and replace in-person enforcement. 
Yeah. It is not a question of uh, how fair it is. We are not doing anything fishy or outside the law. We are there to ensure that whatever you collect, you account for it. So we uh, do it for all uh, you know persons. When we have information that you are not doing the right thing, then we place our staff there. They don't disturb them. They just stand you know, somewhere just to observe. Are, are you getting it? So that is, that is all that there is for it. But we are getting there because we are introducing the electronic model. Dominic, Dominic Nav is the assistant commissioner at GRA. Government has given the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development the nod to review the Fisheries Act, Act 625. According to Deputy Minister of Fisheries, Moses Enim, the review will ensure adequate governance management of the sector, which will trigger responsible fishery. He was speaking at the forum of the topic sustainable fisheries management in ghana prospects and challenges organized by efd ghana with support from the institute of statistical social and economic research and the ghana institute of management and public administration we bringing in the laws to strengthen the laws using the psme and also the transparency issue that prof raised is not much in the law Co-management is not in the law, so we're trying to bring the, and enforce the law and make sure that at least the regulatory aspect and the legal aspect and its implementation will come to the fore. So these are areas that weaken the other side. So that, that is the first one. The second one is also to assure you that the trial session is really being marshaled. We are really putting the effort to make sure they live within the company. Musician and CEO of Bell Group, Belinda Armour, popularly known as Miss Bell, is encouraging entrepreneurs to master the art of bookkeeping. Speaking in an upcoming episode of Joy Prime Celeb Biz, hosted by Amelie Chosu, Miss Bell explained that the mismanagement of finances on the part of business owners significantly impacts longevity of their enterprises. What I've realized about pubs that are falling apart, I have some celebrity friends who had pubs. They don't save. They just mm -hmm. walk into the restaurant or the bar and say, how much money have you made? Give me a thousand. They collect and put in their pockets. And then the, within a short period of time, it disappears. You have to save. You have to have your account right. I never employed an accountant, okay. but I developed that skill on my own, my own way. I think I should write a book where you can develop your own skills mm -hmm. to run your own business. You see, when you do things your own way, way the way you understand, it's it's comfortable and easy. But if you want to follow how everybody is doing it, you must have an accountant. The accountant says it has to be done this way. I'm Celebis seeks to explore the entrepreneurial ventures of celebrities in Ghana and beyond. You can watch the full episode of Celebiz this Saturday at 5 p.m. on the Joy Prime channel and Sunday at 9 p.m. on Joy News. Prospective homeowners say they are frustrated by high prices and interest rates in their quest to put up homes. Available research shows materials and labor are the most significant cost components in building a home in Ghana. Today on the Business Journal, Lava Femme's Mona Lisa Frimpon explores the situation. <laughs> Prices have leveled off in 2023. Theophilus Yeboa, a finance officer at an IT firm, fears building a house now puts him on a track of going broke. What you take as a take-home salary and looking at what you want to get for yourself to call a home, you would have to be saving, say, 60% of your take-home salary. Which in our Ghanaian context is very difficult to do that. Because sometimes even before the month end, you would have spent 80% of your salary. According to the Ghana Property Centre, the average price of a house in the Kumasi metropolis of the Ashanti region is 550,000 Ghana cities. The most expensive house cost over 5 million Ghana cities, whilst the cheapest cost 74,600 Ghana cities. Dokas Mwachi Dankwa, a petty trader, has created her budget list to put up a home, but might have to wait longer. The price quotation of real estate developers is out of price range for some prospective homeowners in Kumasi. 
Lydia Omari and Perez, both teachers, have dropped the idea of putting up luxurious houses and opted for affordable homes. For now, renting will be better because building, it takes time. So you rent, then the more you are in the rent, you start something. By the time your rent will end, if you have finished your house, then you move out. In fact, even where we live now, if there is anywhere else that could offer less, we will move uh, because it's affordability that matters. But Loma Futi, a banker, is unfazed by the rising cost of building materials. He is making headways and putting up his smart house. A lot of spaces, good space around the house, some flowers, good lawn, a pool for the kids. Uh, interior should be simple, interactive, responsive building. Uh, when I walk into a room, I want the lights to come on. When I walk under the shower, you know, you should just turn on. Yeah, maybe a smart house, possibly. Theophilos plans to support his home buying budget with a mortgage. Fair enough, I think um, mortgage you do. At the 2023 edition of the Love FM Habitat Fair, Republic Bank Ghana PLC is supporting income earners to achieve their housing dreams by offering mortgage loans at discounted prices. Dan Ajite Mohenu is head of mortgage banking at Republic Bank Ghana PLC. What we seek to do and the problem we are solving is to ensure that we are providing the right financing at affordable interest rates so that we are able to assist each and every individual who wants or who wants to acquire a property to be able to afford one. The Habitat Fair is on from the 6th till the 8th of October at the Kumasi City Mall. For Joy Business, Mona Lisa Frimpon reporting. That was Love FM's Mona Lisa from Paul to end this week's Joy Business Channel. Now, before we go, the Ecobank Salary Account is a special account designed for workers of all income brackets desirous of receiving their salaries through Ecobank. With the Ecobank Salary Account, you are guaranteed all the benefits of a normal savings or current account plus more. Ecobank Salary Account gives workers free life insurance cover of up to 10,000 CDs, 24-7 access to cash and e-banking services, internet and mobile banking services, high interest and savings, no minimum balance, ability to save through the Ecobank Save As You Spend, a unique feature that helps customers to save and invest. Remember, the insurance policy covers death, permanent or temporary disability, critical illness, hospitalization, retrenchment and more. Savings or current account holders at Ecobank do not have to close their existing accounts to enjoy the numerous benefits of the Ecobank Salary Account. Just ask your brand to switch your existing account to Ecobank Salary Account. Non-Ecobank account holders should approach any Ecobank branch and ask for the Ecobank Salary Account. Switch your salary account today and enjoy amazing benefits at Ecobank. Ecobank toll-free number is... 0800-003225 whenever, wherever for further details. Game plan is up next. Do enjoy.